Do you want to learn how you can switch from streaming to Twitch or YouTube easily in OBS? Well, that's the point of this video and I want to show you how you can take advantage of OBS profiles to manage how you create your content. I'm fascinated with tech and my goal on this channel is to help you make your stream look and sound just a little bit more professional simply. So OBS profiles is a simple tool that I feel is forgotten by many creators. It's a huge management method for creators, especially if you're a streamer or just a video creator. So in a nutshell, you can use profiles to switch from streaming to Twitch, YouTube, or even just make videos by the quick click of a button and all by having those settings stored in that profile. Here's the great thing about OBS profiles. A profile holds all your OBS settings. It does not include scenes or sources, but allows you to have a profile for each channel you are streaming to or different recording or streaming settings. So as soon as you change a profile in OBS from one profile to the other, the settings are automatically changed. So that way you don't have to have your Twitch set up and then all of a sudden you have to go back into streaming and re-log in and stream to YouTube. All you have to do is go into profile in the top of the screen, click new, and I will show you how I use this. All right, so this is my profile for making YouTube videos on OBS. Uh, please ignore this, you know, big mirror effect because uh, I'm, you know, sharing my display capture. But however, you could see that none of my streaming info is is on here. So that way it's not distracting me while I'm making videos. And now I'm going to show you uh, how my Twitch settings are. There we go. All I did was switch over real quick. Uh, I went into profiles. I, ch I chose my Twitch streaming one and you could see how all my Twitch uh, stuff is active. Boom. It's crazy, right? This is one other thing that's insanely helpful is all of your scenes and all of your sources, they all stay the same no matter what your profile is. So you might still get, you got to be careful. So if you're doing a YouTube video and you have like one of your, uh, like your web browser sources for like uh, pop-up alerts for your stream, you might want to make sure either that's turned off or you create a new scene that it's, it's not in, like duplicate a scene. But however, all you do is just click a button and you could choose where you're streaming to. And if you just want to record videos, and it's set up it's insanely simple i want to know if this helped out clear some things or even gave you some ideas for uh, how you can use obs just a little bit easier and uh, let me know in the comments below and if you like the music playing in the background uh check us out it's stream tunes lo-fi beats it's up on spotify for free in the back of your streams or in the back of uh, any of your videos go ahead and use it other than that i appreciate you guys watching stream easy we'll see you on the next one Quick, 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 click.